Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Garb Experiment. We've got a new game that has just recently been added to the Game Pass on Xbox. I think it's called Superliminal or Super, yeah, Superliminal I think. But I haven't, I saw a bit of a trailer and it looks pretty cool. So I thought we'd give it a try, but let's jump in. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt. Dreams come true. Okay then. Alright. So we can move around. Is that moving? Strange. Okay. Terms of service. Okay, I didn't even get to read that. Oh, and now there's a door. Alright. Let's head through here then. Where are you headed? What have we got here? What does it say? Perception is reality. Whoa, that's cool. So like I've seen in the trailer... Someone picks something up and then they drop it, and then yeah, it changes size. <laughs> I can really feel that in the controller, how heavy that is. Okay. Oh, just like that. So then there's... Shrink it. Make it small. And then our path is clear. Okay, we can jump. Terms wow. of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Okay. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Aha, I found a way. Oh, I need to make some stairs though. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Oh. That should be big enough, I think. Looks to be. Let's make that one a little bit smaller. And then we can jump up. There we go. We made it through. So we got some, some like a sort of puzzle game. No objects. Okay. So if we pick this up, is it going to... Oh, it's tiny. It doesn't get much bigger. It's so far away. So I guess we can't bring objects through. What if I go backwards? Oh, it doesn't let me through. Right, so I need that. Just stay on there. And then we can go through. But then I need it again. Aha! How do I make it bigger? Is that working? Yes, it's working. Alright, is that big enough? It is, we're through. Oh, wow. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Oh, there we go. Open the door. Nice, no, she doesn't care. Okay. Hold to rotate. Yeah, we learned that. Hold left bumper and then we can turn it. Oh, okay. We gotta make ourselves a massive wedge of cheese then. There's a ramp. So even though it's so big, we can still rotate it though. Right, is that gonna be... No, I think we're gonna have to go bigger. Wow. <laughs> you 
can just feel the mass of how heavy it is. Is that going to be tall enough? Yes, it is. During Perfect. Island, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. No, I don't want it bigger again. I want to make it nice and small. There we go. And then if we drop it just there, that opens the door. But what? What's through here? Oh, I made that plank massive. Not that way, then. Well, not do that, sorry. Can we through? Are we meant to go through here? Dream soda? Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a key node in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Okay. Oh, I can't bring my can with me. Oh. What happened here? Aha! Is that the door? Alright, let's bring this over with us. I need to get it, pick it up further away. So let's put it there. Stand back. Right, was that going to be... I don't know if that's going to work. Alright, that's not going to work either. I need it further away than... though. Pick it up really far away when it's nice and small. Let's keep it really far away. Ah, there we go. We did it. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Well, that's one way to open the door. With a huge block. No items, video surveillance, people without I people without items beyond this point will be fine. Oh, okay. Right, so we've got a a blue room and a red room with apples in it. What? Okay, maybe I wasn't gonna go that way then. Go through this way? And that opens the door over there. Aha! Is this going to work? It's getting bigger. Still not quite big enough. Let's go again. I wonder if you can be crushed by these. Mostly, I don't want to find out. <laughs> Massive. Oh, okay, you can pick up with the... Can I... Rotate it the other way, but no. I want to put on both buttons. There we go. We're through. Now oh, which way? This way. Can I grab all of them then? Oh, it's just that one. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. But I, I don't want to. What's out there? That's his exit. Can we go out? Yeah, I can. I can't get out. What have we got behind here? Is there anything we can do? Can we move any of these? Can I knock it with the cheese, maybe? No, because... Oh, yeah, because perception. Aha! Maybe if we climb up here. Is 
Right, stay up properly, cheese. There we go. Right, that's not going to work. I think I need it bigger. There we go. Is that big enough now? Can I jump out of here? I don't need it really big. There we go. Let's turn it round. Although I think I just made it... Okay, no. There we go. That's how we did it then. Well, that's how we do it. Sorry. Got to knock it over. Alright, so we're out of the facility now. Probably where we shouldn't be. Can I run? No, I can't run. Let's head through here because this said exit. Let's go down this corridor. I guess they can't see me now because there's no cameras. Oh no! Alright, we fell into a bedroom. It's 3 a.m. Alright. Where have we got to head now then? Down this way? Private. Okay, we're in some sort of... Oh, this must be the reception. Yep. Okay, this way? We're in a corridor. We've got that funny music again. Okay, we need to try to figure a way out then. Okay, that's one way to do it. Just take the door off. Oh, that's weird. And this door comes off here as well. Exit temporary moved. What happens if I... Can I put the door on there? Will that work? No, I don't think it will. What did that do? Oh, this is trippy, this. take off there now. I can grab something. Oh, it's the door. What do they do? Okay, we've got another one of those barriers. Alright, we're in another area. It's like a building inside a warehouse. Like a fake building inside a warehouse. Okay. It's kind of what I wanted. I think... Oh. Why are these little signs here? Can pick this one up too. What is their use? Let's have a look. Let's see, have a look. Let's see if we can get up here. Oh, what's up there? I want to have a look up there now. I just made it smaller again. Fall over. <laughs> oh, I've messed it up now. It's falling over the wrong way. Right, go big that way. You can't rotate the opposite way. You can only go round this way. Because I want to change the way it's landing. Okay, I just made that way too big then. I can't even use that one now, it's too big. Right, I've got it up here, so I think this is the way out. Yeah. There's nothing on top of there. Well, I wanted to have a look, but... Never mind. Let's head. Oh, God. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. We're working on it. Okay, well, 
I'm now lost by Luxing Zen. They cannot find me. So we're going to head up through here, I guess. Into another room. Why, why can I flip these switches? I think they're fire alarms. I believe. Oh, what's going on there? Cube. And then it comes into... Becomes real life. So we have ourselves a cube. And that's the way out. Perfect. Okay, that looks to be the way out. What's that? Let's get back. Oh! Line it up perfectly. Oh, wait. Where's the... There's something missing, though. There's a plant pot missing from that corner. Where did I see a plant pot? Oh, it's on the table. How do I get the plant pot, then? Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go, and then we can turn around and... Grab ourselves a cube! Which is a flight of stairs. Right, I need to change the size of this. Yep, that should do it. Alright. We have an exit door. Do we need that cube thing again? Let's grab that, and then hopefully we can figure our way up. There we go. Nice and small. I think we need to get up to that side. It's not what I'm meant to do. There we go. Oh, I could have just rotated it instead of making it small again. Let's jump up here. And then we got to look here. And there we go, we opened the door. Exit. Okay, we've got another tape recording by Lux Things. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. But, please keep moving forward, and hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Okay. Are you having lucid dreaming? Please head to the exit to wake up. Yeah, I've been trying to head to the exit, but I haven't been waking up. Whoa. That is a huge chess piece. Oh, there's a box there, though. There we go. Let's grab the box. Make it big. So we can jump up. Alright. Why do we need this piece? But we're not quite close enough. Oh, that's why we need the piece. Because it takes a massive chunk out of the wall. Where even is this? Outside the facility now. Okay, let's head through here. Oh, we got another tape recording. Let's see what this one says. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Will it, though? Let's try. Let's carry on looking for the exit signs then. Got another switch. I'm going to flip it. Alright. Why are the roof hatches open? Don't tell me. We can grab the moon. 
We can indeed grab the moon. What is on the moon? <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Let's head through here then. Um. Oh, we have a lift. Okay. Well, now it's 4 a.m. And we're going to leave that episode there, guys. Next episode, then, we're going to carry on with this game. Loving it so far. It's quite easy. I don't say, well, not easy, but quite straightforward sort of challenges at the moment or puzzles. But I got a feeling it may start to get a little bit more difficult. But yeah, we're going to leave that episode there, guys. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload the next episode. Thanks, guys, for watching.